on beat. He don't want to ride around in the dub beat. He don't want to see the red <laughs> side up. Oh, I did. Great. Take your time with it. State your name and roll to camera first. Name Edward Gaines. I'm waiting for the roll as uh, Pookie G. Motherfuckers. Motherfuckers come to our neighborhood. They don't get this motherfucking Glock. That's right. Straight to the muff, motherfucker. Straight to the motherfucking, the motherfucking nuts. Yeah, yeah. You feel me? You feel me? All right, Hitman. I'm going to stop you there. Good start. Let's try another way, okay? I. Okay, sure. I want you to remember that PPG is a gangbanger, okay? A hardened criminal. Rikers. The whole shebang. Okay, yep, sure. A bit more street. This guy's tough. Don't be afraid to scare us, alright? Aye. Alright, let's try it again from the top. I motherfuckers come! Motherfuckers come in our neighborhood! I straight! I straight fuck you up! Fuck you up, homeboy! OG Buttermilk, Pookie Loke, Butterloaf. West side. How did it go in there? This one wasn't mine. Yeah. Next one will be. I know that's right. The universe don't put in the ones who won't quit. I'm not an actor, but I do see a ton come through you. And the ones who end up booking never stop. One day the right role and you will meet. I can feel it. Thank you. Hey. You 5 -0? Huh? You ain't 5 -0. Too soft in the middle. You soft all over, baby? What you want to do? I don't know. How much money you got? Peel three of those 20s off for me, okay? Okay. Pull around that corner. Slow down. My meter ain't running yet. Your car can park over, over there. You like privacy? I get that. This your first time? <laughs> Want me to unbutton your pants for you? What happened to you? Excuse me? How'd you end up like this? Like what, baby? Like this. This is no kind of life. And what do you do to make ends meet? I lost my job. So what are you being all high and mighty about? At least I tried. I was an actor. Oh, yeah? In what? Hey. Here. You want more? You want more? Get it. Get on the floor and get it. <laughs> Look at you. You're just a traumatized child. You have no ego structure. You have no life foundation. Date's over, man. Let me out. Now. You ever heard of the healthy home remedy? Unlock the door, motherfucker. Do your parents know what you do? I bet you don't even have parents that care about you. <laughs> You're nothing. You're invisible. <laughs> Let go of me. You're hurting my arm. <clears throat> I bet. You could disappear and no one would even care. Hey, baby. Why are you so worked up, huh? This should do what we came here for. No. You're him, aren't you? I could be. Let me out. Let me out. Step out of the vehicle. Put your hands where I can see them.
Right? They just want me to write the next book. The Vampires. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. What are you doing here? Hi, Dad. You know, I I read your book. It's a really great. It's a great read. I mean, just everything makes so much sense. It just I read it a lot of times. That's great. Yeah, it just I mean, especially when I just I felt like it was you were talking to me or about me when you mentioned the. Cracked foundation. Edmund, we should go talk somewhere. No, else. Dad, I'm not even mad at you. Even though I felt like you were, you didn't mention my name, you, you, you were talking about me, but you didn't mention Lacey and uh, a few patients and some strangers. Edmund, please, let's... No, uh, even with the parts in there where you were talking about the, the mold and the untethered and, and the rooted, just really made the... making. Mom? Well, Edmund, what a pleasant surprise. You know what? Let's go inside so we can all catch up. No, Mom, I would rather talk to Dad right here. Just because I've, I've got so many questions and, and Dad knows all about the, the rotten. And, right, Dad? Because I'm, I'm speaking about foundation. And speaking of foundation, made me think about my foundation. And, and when I was 12 years old and it made me think about, you know, my birthday when you guys were... So as to take me to Chuck E. Cheese and you drop me off at a group home. I, I just made me really want to question. Is that Lacey? Is that Lacey? No. Edmund, you just can't show up here like this. No, Dad, I, I just, I, but, just Dad, I just really need. What? Do you want money? No. I just want to know why you guys left me on my 12th birthday. You tried for so very long, Edmund. Poured so much time and energy into you. Sent you to the right schools, enrolled you in extracurricular sports where we thought surely you would thrive. I like the acting, Dad. Well, I wanted you to get up all that energy, you know? You had issues controlling your emotions, throwing tantrums all the time, and you weren't little anymore. In fact, you'd gotten quite big. Gosh, you were 12. You were going through puberty at the time. All that entails. Meanwhile, you had lace you. Our real, our biological flesh and blood. She was only eight then. You can understand. We had to make sure she was safe. But Dad, that's your job to... You could have gave me a solid foundation, a, a blueprint, you know? Isn't, isn't that what you do, huh, architect? You had years. Some people just can't be fixed. <laughs> but maybe you just didn't know what you what you know now. I mean, maybe, maybe you know, because you, you didn't write what you wrote in the book, and you didn't have that... Edmund, I need to get back to... No doubt, just... I really worried that I I just at the book it's just it's it speaks about everything I'm going through right now and I I really don't know what's real and what's fake anymore I I don't know who I am and I'm just worried something really really bad might happen. Then go seek help. You know what? Fuck you, and fuck you too, mom. Sit here and endorse this bullshit. I hope you enjoy your fucking party. Everyone, have a great fucking time with this jackass over here. Sorry, I'm just a stepson.